My Catholic Faith, Lesson 140, Vestments. What vestments does the priest use in the celebration of Holy Mass? The priest uses the amice, alb, cincture, maniple, stole, and chasuble in the celebration of Mass. When the priest appears before God at the altar, He is clad in suitable vestments. God himself gave directions about the vestments of the priests in the Old Testament. The chief vestments worn by Catholic priests have come down to us from the time of the Apostles. Symbolic significances have been attached to the different vestments. The prayers said by the priest as he puts on each piece of attire show the meaning attached to them by the Church. The armus is a piece of white linen cloth which covers the priest's shoulders. The vesting prayer is, Place, O Lord, on my head the helmet of salvation, that I may overcome the assaults of the devil. When putting it on, the priest places it for a moment on his head, then lets it rest on his shoulders. The alb is a white linen tunic which envelops the priest's whole body. As he puts it on, the priest says, Purify me, O Lord, from all stain, and cleanse my heart, that washed in the blood of the Lamb I may enjoy eternal delights. The cincture, or girdle, is the cord which fastens the alb at the waist. The vesting prayer is, Gird me, O Lord, with the cincture of purity, and quench in my heart the fire of concupiscence, that the virtue of continence and chastity may remain in me. The maniple is a short, narrow strip of cloth which hangs from the left arm. The vesting prayer is, Let me deserve, O Lord, to bear the maniple of tears and sorrow, so that one day I may come with joy unto the reward of my labours. The stole is the long silk band that fits around the neck and is crossed on the breast of the priest. It is the symbol of authority in the church, of all vestments most blessed. The vesting prayer is, Restore to me, O Lord, the state of immortality, which was lost to me by my first parents, and although unworthy to approach thy sacred mysteries, grant me nevertheless eternal joy. As a sign of his full priestly powers, the bishop does not cross the stole in front. The Pope alone has the right to wear it always. The chasuble is the uppermost vestment worn by the celebrant at Mass. It hangs from the shoulders, in front and behind, down almost to the knees. The vesting prayer at Mass is, O Lord, who has said, My yoke is sweet and my burden light, grant that I may carry it so as to obtain thy grace. The chasuble, stole, maniple and veil for the chalice are made as a set of vestments of the same material, colour and design. The beretta is the three-ridged square cap worn by the priest when he enters the sanctuary. What vestments are used by the priest outside of Mass? Outside of Mass, the priest uses the cassock or satan, the cope, the surplice and the humeral veil. The cassock or satan is the principal vestment used by ecclesiastics. It is a robe reaching down to the feet and buttoned in front. For priests it is black, for bishops violet, for cardinals red, and for the Pope white. In some countries ecclesiastics go everywhere in their cassocks. The surplice is a short alb used by the priest outside of Mass when he preaches, joins a procession, etc. At High Mass the deacon wears a special vestment called dalmatic, and a subdeacon a tunical. The cope is a mantle used for benediction, processions and other occasions. When a priest dies, he is buried dressed in his cassock and surplice and with the purple stole, the badge of his priesthood. In complete purple vestments he lies in dignity. The humeral veil is the long silk cloth used by the priest when carrying the Blessed Sacrament and giving benediction. Some of the vestments, such as the armus, alb, surplus, and benediction veil, are always white. 
the stole for hearing confessions is always purple. Catholics spend a great deal of care and money on sacred vessels, vestments and furnishings for the altar because it is only right to give what is most precious and beautiful for the service of God. Nothing is too good for the Lord of heaven and earth. The beauty of God's house also impresses the beholder and helps devotion. Some worldly-minded people are prone to ask, to what purpose is this waste, when they see how much care and money Catholics spend on sacred vessels, vestments and church ornaments. Let us remember that Judas asked that when Magdalene anointed our Lord, 